And now the final of the men's over 100 kilo category. Batul Gatemoylin of Mongolia faces Daniel Alastorfer of Austria. It's Batulga in the white judogi and Alastorfer in blue. Right, here we go with the last of the contests at this Tashkent Grand Prix 14. Where's this one going then? Because neither of these two were among the real top picks. Alla Storper, I suppose you could have said at uh, three. Seeded number three. Slightly exceeded expectation. And if truth be told, that um, seeding is slightly elevated due to a, a lack of or quality. Just the 15 fighters. Paul Barner was the number one seed. It's then Al Shahabi was the number two. Three was Al Ashtorfer, and four was Polka. After that, they were also ranked. Ashtorfa <laughs> thinking about the Shimiwaza. Not quite there, is it? The shimmy was a that's all up defending strongly. Eventually, the referee calling Mate standing the pair up. over three minutes left to go. No score as yet. Referee just asking the coach to coach just during the mate. A little bit excitable. See some movement from the big Austrian now. Almost. That's all they're almost coming up with the turn with the hands. Not quite. Another Stoffer looking to escape the problem on the ground. Another Batolga in the chair. Never done it, I'm afraid. <laughs> Marco Spitka, not the first time. Asked to vacate his seat. Alastorfer will have to fight Batolga all on his own now. <laughs> He's big enough to do it on his own. Marco Spitka takes to the stands. We can watch from there. 
right-sided effort from Batora, but it doesn't trouble the Austrian. He blocks that fairly easily. The Jigari effort from Alastor from Batorga isn't troubled by that either. There's no real movement from the big fellas here. Certainly not enough. Batorga looking to free the right leg up, which Alastorfa has trapped. Not quite sure if he try to skill the top half of the body and then squeeze the leg out. Batorga has managed to come up with the hip on there. Nice when we see the replay of exactly how he finished that up. Alastorfer does a good job there in taking silver. Batulga it is who comes up with the Ippon win, however. Right, let's have a look at the highlights from that contest. Silver medal goes to Daniel Alastorfa of Austria. The gold medal goes to Batulga Timuelin of Mongolia. Well, with that um, gold medal, Mongolia top the medal table. Three gold medals to the Mongolians, three silver and four bronze. The Romanians took two gold medals. And there's a gold medal apiece for Uzbekistan, Israel, Belgium, Ukraine, Germany, Poland, Egypt, France, and Greece. That's how the gold medals ended up. Mongolia at the top. And now the national anthem of Mongolia. Sharipov and Bohr were bronze medalists. Alastorfer took the silver and Batulga the gold. Okay, that's.